Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, it's Monday. On Mondays, we do tier lists, and on Wednesdays, we wear pink. <sighs> what are you? I'm a mouse, duh. And here we are, I am live with my YouTube members as we go over the worst moves in Pokemon Unite. These are the most troll moves inside the entire game. I'm gonna try to go through every single move. So this is not going to be the entry level moves for a Pokemon like Cramorant's uh, Whirlpool or something like that. This is going to be the moves you get to choose as your Pokemon levels up. We have our tiers for this week. The God tier, only one move will go in the God tier. We're not friggin' Norse around here. We've got our S tier, so much bad. So S is bad on this list. We have our A tier, almost a troll. These are going to be moves that are pretty bad, but I'm not going to say it's a troll. B tier, these moves are, you know, fine. Hmm. Still got the B tier. All right, we've got the C tier. Cindy, it's good. So these moves are good. <laughs> Is this tier list going to be confusing? Oh yeah, without question. Uh, the C tier are good moves, and the Decidueye Memorial tier, that is good this time. So, uh, the moves near the top of our list, bad. The moves near the bottom of our list, good. So, there we go. And yes, the biggest troll goes to our YouTube chat, which just, for whatever reason, keeps freezing. Life is a highway. Let's get this thing started out. Uh, this is Talon Flames Aerial Ace, I believe. Aerial Ace is, um, Talon Flame in general is not good, but I think Aerial Ace is kind of fine. In general, it's not the move set that I would play on Talon Flame. Because of that, this is either B or A. It's it's really close. The thing about Talon is Talon kind of feels a bit trollish right now. Aerial Ace works with Brave Bird, so I'm gonna put this in the A tier for almost a troll. It's just not a very good move, essentially. This is Mew, Agility. Good, good move. Not a ton to say about agility, right? It's just, it's agility, and agility is pretty dang good, right? Okay. Uh, agility. <laughs> oh, agility, back to back. Agility uh, is very good. Uh, it was actually nerfed from being one of the best moves in the game. It's still really, a really amazing move. It gives you your sprint gauge, it gives you move speed. It's kind of a full heal. One of the better moves inside the game. Air Slash, Air Slash is good. It could be A. It's a really good move on Cramorant. I like Air Slash a lot. I don't think there's anything wrong with Air Slash, right? All right, let's see. Amnesia. This move is really, really solid. A really solid move. It's not going to make its way all the way down to the Decidueye Memorial tier that is very, very, very good, but it's a good move. It's a good move for sure. Uh, Ancient Power. Ancient Power is extremely good. It's one of the better moves in the game. I mean, T-Tars is just so good. Ancient power is incredible if used right. Yeah, great move. Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail is probably down in this list right now too, for sure. Yeah, I think Aqua Tail is... I, for Azu, you get it at level 4. Its healing is insane. Really good move. Really good move. Aurora Veil is fine. It's fine to good. It's fine to good. It's kind of good, but I, I, I think... I'm gonna put it good, but the thing is, it's not Aurora Veil itself, it's Ninetales that's kind of mid, right? So yeah, everyone in the chat's saying B. I, I kind of got to agree. It's just because of how, how Ninetales is. This is, I believe, Avalanche from Ninetales, which is mid. It's mid. It, it's not, Ninetales is just rough. You know, I like the caster build, but it's just rough. I, I don't hate the move. I'm gonna say this one's B or A. It's close. It's close. I, I like the combo though, and it is a wall. I'm gonna put it B. I'm gonna go B. A lot of people think an A. I don't even I don't even disagree with you that much. Barrier. Barrier's good. Barrier's a good move. I mean, you can't really say too much about it, but you get to put out a, a ton of Yeah, I think barrier's pretty good. Yeah. It's fine. Barrier is pretty dang good. I mean, A or B. A or B, I think. Um, or C or B, excuse me. <laughs> this is impossible. C or B. C or B, I think. Uh, B for barrier, maybe. Why not? Belch. Belch is really good. Really, really good. 
it almost gets into the Decidueye tier, but Belch is extremely good on green. Tons of damage. Really, really nice. Blaze Kick is a top tier move for me. Uh, Blaze Kick, I think, without question, is one of the best moves. Uh, in the, it's Cinderace's best move, for sure. The repositioning on it's absolutely insane. One of the best moves in the game. This is Blizzard, and it's fine. The thing... It's fine... I'm going to put it B, Avalanche and Blizzard right next to each other. It's fine. The build itself is just, it's let down by Ninetales and it's let down by the fact that, you know, casters just have no mobility. I'm going to put these in the B tier, but they're, honestly, they're borderline. They're not great just because Ninetales has so much trouble. Block. What do you think? Trollish? Yeah, Block's pretty bad. I don't think we're going to do anything with Block. Bad move. Um, no good. Just kidding, obviously. It's one of the best moves in the game by a billion miles. Uh, so, yes, block is insane. Like, top tier, top, top, top tier move. Bone Rush for Lucario. Good. I think Bone Rush is good. Gives you the resets on extreme speed. Pretty solid move right there. <laughs> Jake, are you high? Uh, I think Bone Rush is really good. I think it's a super, super solid move for the old Lucario. Really, really good. Brave Bird is almost trolling. It's kind of trolling, honestly. It's 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 borderline. It's it's not S tier level trolling, but I think it's borderline for sure. It, it's this combo right here from Talon used to be pretty good. Talon has so much trouble with this. And this it kind of reminds me of Ninetales as well where it's like it's not all Talon. It's Talon and the move, but it's really high A. It's really high A. Bullet Punch from Scissor is probably a D-tier move. Man, I can't wait for someone to just start this video. Honestly, this is all I'm thinking about. Someone starts this video and uh, they just skip a little bit and have no idea what's going on. It's it's going to be one of the most confusing videos I have ever made. I think it's a D-tier move. It's so good. It's so good. I think it's D-tier because it's so good. Remember, this tier list is based on how much of a troll I think a move is. It's so dumb. All right. Uh, Bullet Seed Greedon, I think, is good. C. It's not It's not broken or anything, but both Greedon's attacking moves are good, for sure. Belch is a little bit better, but Bullet Seed's good. Uh, Calm Mind Sylveon. Good. Uh, in some ways, I love Calm Mind. The shield on it, like Calm Mind plus Sylveon is really, really cool. But I, I think D is too much. Like, D needs to be reserved for moves that kind of really sparkle right? Uh, this is close combat from a champ. I think this is a good move. Yeah, it's not broken or anything, but it's totally good, and it, it doesn't feel kind of meh to me like a lot of the B tier does. Close combat from Lucario, also a very good move. Um, I don't think Lucario has anything in the D tier right now, except, well, both of its other moves are really good. Really, really good. Close combat's good, We'll talk about its other moves in a bit. Coaching. Coaching is the only Mew move that I would even put anywhere towards, uh, like, trolling at all. It's probably B, to be fair. But when you're playing solo, coaching is, like, a liability. So, it's not even trolling, but a lot of people think it's S-tier level trolling. I don't think it's that hard. I don't think it's that hard. Mew has so many better options, though. You're probably not going to run coaching if you're not playing in a coordinated fashion, right? There's just, there's no way. Um, what am I looking at right here? I'm looking at, oh gosh, is this Confuse Ray? I don't know the symbol of it. It's got to be Confuse Ray. <sighs> yeah, it's Confuse Ray. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can, here's the thing about Confuse Ray. I think Confuse Ray is either, in a way, it's like the most trolling thing in the game, right? But it's either like high C or into the D, but I think more of Sableye's kit goes, I'm gonna put it C for very good. <laughs> This tier list is so dumb. It's almost D. Truly, it's almost D. But I think with the nerfs, I think Confuse Ray, it's just another part of Sableye's kit that is a nightmare. I, I think I'm going to put it C. Confusion is a D tier move. Confusion is one of the best moves. Uh, I mean, Mimes' Confusion is unbelievable. So 
it, it should not do that much damage. It stuns, it does damage, it pushes, it's crazy. Mime is D tier for sure, one of the better moves in the game. Um, the shielding on LD, I'm gonna put that in the C tier, and see, this is the problem here. This list is gonna get so massive. We're gonna have to keep adjusting it. I think it's a really good move. Cotton Guard, really good move. I think Cotton Spore, uh, this is the other one. Cotton Spore, right? I think it's fine. I think B. I think it, I don't think it's bad or anything like that. I just think at times it's underwhelming and you'd rather have a shield and give your allies something, but I think it's fine. It's not the best move, but it's also, it doesn't feel like you're almost trolling when you play it. Covet Greedon is a D tier move for sure. Covet is one of the best moves in the game. Uh, it's incredible. It, they've nerfed it like 80 times because it's so good. So yeah, I think Greedon's Covet is one of the best things about Greedon and it's definitely a D tier. It's just so incredibly good. Cross Chop from a champ. I think this is a C tier move. Very, very good. Um, it's not broken or anything like that. I think in general, Machamp isn't broken, but everything in its ki uh, kit is pretty good, except for, we'll talk. Uh, cross Chop. I think Cross Chop is a super solid move here. C, definitely C. Curse Trevenant is C. It's good. Not bad at all. It's definitely the play. I think Curse Trevenant's C. I think Trevenant has something else that we'll get to in a bit that's better than that, but Curse Trevenant, I think, is a C-tier move. Yeah. Cut from Zoroark is fine. It's like B. It's nothing. I think Cut and uh, Shadow Claw from Zoroark, once we find it, I don't think they're that interesting at all. Zoroark is all based on its other move, I think. I don't think this one gets into the trolling territory because it's just... It's not that much different than Shadow Claw. <laughs> Iconic says it's S. It's terrible. I think it's fine. I don't think I don't think the difference between Cut and Shadow Claw are really going to make that much of a difference maker. Uh, we've got Dark Pulse from uh, Titar. It's good and it stuns and it continues to keep your true damage there. It's not broken, but it's very very good. I think it's good. It's a good. It's a dang good move. Nothing wrong with it. We've got two dazzling gleams here. So. I don't know which one's which. I can't remember. Uh, hold on. Let me look it up. Which Dazzling Gleam am I looking at right here? Because they're both decent. This, okay. This one here is Nine Tails Dazzling Gleam. And this one I think is B, probably. Gosh, I think Nine Tails is just so B. Look, every every part of its move. Like nothing on it's trolling, but everything about Nine Tails I think is fine. I think it's fine. And then we have Wigglies, which I also think is fine. You're not, I mean, I like it actually, um, but they're both fine. They're both B, I think. So I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> uh, A9 is just a meh Pokemon, right? It's like, yeah, it's decent early and then late. It's like, okay, Wigglies is fine. You just kind of have options for both on Wiggly that are just kind of whatever. Garchomp's Dig, I th is this Dig? Yeah, Garchomp's Dig is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It's not broken or anything. I think it's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a dash, you know, knocks enemies up. A lot of people are thinking B, huh? I might be able to be persuaded. Lou, a lot of people saying B. Okay, all right, I'll go with you uh, with it B and B. That's fine. Discharge. Discharge is great. Discharge might be a D tier move. Zara Aura, hmm. Zara Aura is, I'm not saying Zara Aura itself is amazing, but Discharge is a really good move. It's really good. A lot of people think it's C for Discharge, huh? I don't know. It's crazy good, you guys. It gives you a shield. It, hit, it hits everyone around you. Hmm. I think it's really good. I think it's one of the best moves in the game. I think, I think it's been nerfed a lot though, to be fair. It's been nerfed a lot. The, I think it, the issue is not... Yes, Zara is kind of bad, but Discharge is really good, I think. I think the move itself is really good. I think the reason they have problems balancing Discharge is because of how good that move is. Um, let's see. Uh, dive. Dive Cram. Dive's really good. Dive's incredible. Um... The mobility you get on it's amazing. It's why they keep nerfing Cram as they go. I think Dive is just insane. It's the 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 plays that you can make 
with dive are brutal. People are thinking C. I don't know. I think it's without question D. It has, yeah, it has multi uses. It's a dash. I think dive is insane in this game right now. This is double hit. Um, and uh, double hit is on both scissor and scyther. I just have one instance of it. I'm going to put it B only because on scyther it's good, on scissor it's troll. So double hit it feels like trolling on scissor, but on scyther it's good. I'm just putting it B. It's, I think it's an easy way to look at it there. It's not a bad move though, it's fine. Uh, double slap is fine also, fine. That's not double slap. Yes, that's double slap, right? That's the upgraded version from Wigglytuff. It's not the reason you play Wiggly. It's fine, not bad at all. It's just, it's a good move, but you know, it doesn't set the world on fire or anything like that either. Uh, let's see. Double team from Greninja is a dash and it creates holograms. It's probably C, maybe B. It's a pretty good dash. I'm gonna put it B. It's hard to it's hard to say that a dash is bad, right? It's like you, you get a free dash. The holograms can be targeted by things like uh, Dragapult flying around might target a hologram. Stored power might hit a hologram. Like things that just randomly target. Sometimes you even tank Unite moves with a hologram and stuff like that. I don't think it's bad. It's not not a lot to write home about. It's it's a dash. It's a dash, people. Dragon Breath from Dragapult is fine. Kind of good. Kind of fine. It's C or B. It's C or B. It's not the big part of Dragapult, right? So both of Dragapult's secondary moves, Shadow Ball and Dragon Breath here, are both fine. I think this one might edge out Shadow Ball a little bit, so I'm gonna put it C. A lot of chat thinking C or B. It, it goes both ways. Honestly, I don't, I don't think it's amazing though. I'm putting it B, to be honest. I, I have to put it B because when I look at the moves in B, I feel like it, it can kind of fit in that category a little bit. It's not amazing. Now we have Dragon Claw from Garchomp. So the question is, I have Dragon Claw here, I'm just gonna set it right here, and I have Dragon Rush right here. What part of Dragon Claw and Dragon Rush do I give the credit to for the stun? Because basically both of these moves together are fine, right? But which one do I really give the credit? I, I'm gonna give it to Rush. I'm gonna give Rush as a top tier move, and I'm gonna say Claw is maybe maybe B. It's, here's the thing. By itself, uh, I think, if I'm looking at the two moves by themselves, Claw's fine, decent. Rush at least still pushes. The thing is, both moves together give you a, a catch. You can catch the enemy and stun them and really set up some plays. So I think I'll, I'll give that a B uh, and I'll just give this one a D. I gotta give one of them, right? I gotta give one of them really, really good. They're, they're just so good. Okay, Dragon Dance from Dragonite. I think it's probably, it might be a D tier move. It might be that good. Dragon Dance is really good. I'm gonna, it works for both move sets too. It's really close. <laughs> I'm struggling with the hierarchy. We all are. It's really good. I'm gonna keep it C. It's a dash and it makes you stronger and it's just like so easy to trigger. I think I'm gonna keep it C, but it's a really, really good move. Uh, Dragon Dance from uh, our new Dragapult. I think it's probably C. It's a pretty good move. It can get canceled kind of easy, but I think it's pretty dang good. I know, the tier list is confusing. The point is, where where do we put the troll moves? That's the whole point. I don't think this, this move is super trolling. Dragon Pulse, uh, one of the better moves in the game from Duraludon. I don't think there's any question that's one of the best moves in the game. Dragon Tail, honestly, from Duraludon, also extremely good. Extremely, extremely good. Remember, the bottom of the tier list is good. Draining Kiss on Clefable is B because you can't really target where it goes. However, when you do hit with when you do hit with it, it does a lot of damage. I think it's 
I think it's a fun build, and if it did less damage, it without question moves into the trolling category, but it actually does decent damage. Draining Kiss on Sylveon is close to not being great, but it's fine. It kind of works with Sylveon's kit, so it's fine. Dream Eater from Gengar is without question a D tier move. It's one of the better moves uh, in the game. You reset on a KO. So it's completely set up based on Gengar's kit, right? It's just, it's so good. Drill Peck used to be troll, and now I think it's probably pretty good. Drill Peck, pretty dang good move. Uh, used to kind of be dumb, but now it is pretty good. I'd say C, it's, it's good. It's not bad. Uh, dual Wing Beat from Scyther. Dual Wing Beat's one of the craziest things in the entire game right now. Like Scyther's crazy and Dual Wing Beat's insane. It does so, it does so much damage and it executes and it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy good. Uh, Dynamic Punch from Machamp is probably the best thing in Machamp's kit. I'm gonna put that as a D tier move. It, it's kind of close to C, but Dynamic Punch gives you a dash, gives you damage, gives you uh, increased attack. I think it's crazy good. I think uh, that move's crazy good. Earthquake. Earthquake from Mamo is almost a troll, in my opinion. I don't think it's anywhere close to as good as high horsepower. Um, I don't like Earthquake at all. I do not like Earthquake. I think it needs some quality of life adjustments. Maybe if it didn't, you know, kind of charge it, like if it leapt faster, it might be kind of broken, but I think it's uh, not a good move. Earthquake from Garchomp is good-ish. Is good-ish. It's like C or B. I like it. I like the dig build too. It's not that bad. It's all right. It's all right. I don't know. Nobody likes Earthquake in real life. Um, it's all right. It's B or C. I'm going to put it B. Egg Bomb. Egg Bomb used to be D, but now it's C. Well, it combos with Soft Boiled. Hmm. Egg Bomb might be D. If you take it just with Safeguard, it's probably not good. But taking it with Soft Boiled, it's... I'm going to put it C. It used to be D, I think. I'm going to put it C. Muse Electro Ball, I think, is probably C. And Pikachu's Electro Ball, same thing. Both good moves. Um, they're not going to change the entire game, but I think they're both pretty good moves, right? Pretty good. Nothing crazy, I would say, for Muse Electro Ball and uh, Pikachu's. They're both good. They're both really good. Extreme Speed Dragonite is an S tier level troll move. Uh, we don't even, can't even see that. It's so trolling. So, Extreme Speed Dragonite is one of the worst moves in the entire game. Uh, especially considering what you have to take, what you have to give up, which is Dragon Dance. There's no way uh, that, I mean, it, you would never take this move. And taking it with Hyper Beam is top tier trolling. It's top tier trolling. It's terrible. Um, Extreme Speed Lucario, on the other hand, is amazing. It's probably a D tier move. I mean, when played correctly, I think it's a D tier move, right? It, it's gotta be. I think it's gotta be. Faint Zorark is good. Zorark's kind of weird. It's not that Faint's bad. Faint's good. Um, Zorark is just weird. Uh, faint, faint requires you to be good at it. But if you're good at it, it actually is pretty good. Uh, and then this is Faint Attack from Sableye, which I think is B. It's not full on trolling, but I, you would much rather take Confuse Ray, I think. But it's not full on trolling, I would say. I, I've, I've played around with it a bit. It's decent damage, actually. It's got a slow attach to it. It's got a little vision. It's okay. It, it kind of, it teeters here, honestly. I'm actually gonna put it A. I'm putting it A for the sole reason that it is not Confuse Ray and to not take Confuse Ray, I think is wrong. It's almost a troll. But it's not. Almost a troll. Ah, Cinderace. I feel like this move is probably S, you guys. To not take a dash and take this move, I think this is troll. I think this is a full-on troll move from our buddy Cinderace here. Faint Cinderace just feels crazy bad. It's, in comparison, it's so, 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 so rough. So much bad. A top-tier trolling move. 
Fire Blast is fine. We'll get to it in a minute. Actually, I'm going to put it almost troll. I'm going to put it almost troll because of something else. I'm going to do put it almost troll for the same reason that I put uh, Sableyes here as almost troll. These moves aren't the worst ever, but you need to have a talk. The, the other move is just so good that these moves kind of like, you got to look at them with a side eye. Um, Fire Blast on Char, good. Fire Punch on Char, good. Uh, Fire Spin on Delphox. What do I do with Fire Spin on Delphox? Here's the deal. Mystical Fire is one of the best moves in the entire game. So Mystical Fire being one of the best moves in the game means that picking Fire Blast almost feels like trolling. However, it does do pretty good damage, right? And then we've got Flame Charge, which is insane. And then we've got Fire Spin, which is also good, but to not pick Flame Charge is crazy. I'm gonna put both of these in the B tier because they're both fine, but I feel like to not to not pick Flame Charge and Mystical Fire right now, I don't know, there's just no question. There's no question about it. Those moves are so good. They're so good. Okay, Flail Snorlax, almost a troll. Flail Snorlax actually does a lot of damage. You can carry with Flail, but I think the reason I'm putting this in the almost a troll category is because it's just not what you want your Snorlax to be doing. So yeah, uh, it's not great. It's A, at least you can do a lot of damage with it. Flame Charge Talon, good. You get good mobility and you don't have to target onto an enemy. Good move. Flame Charge from Cinderace, very, very good. Uh, probably C tier move. Blaze Kick beats it out a bit, but Flame Charge is very, very good. It's a dash. You want dashes. Um, Charizard's Flamethrower is probably its best move. It's probably its best move. I think everything in Charizard is really good. Nothing in it stands out as like impossibly good to me, you know? But I think it's all good. It, they're all good moves. None of them bad, really, I would say. Flash Cannon Duraludon, I'd say, is almost a troll. It, it It's just not even close to as good. It feels, honestly, almost like trolling. At least Duraludon can just still do damage, but I think Flash Cannon is like... Woo! Almost a, a troll. Fly Talon, one of the best moves in the game. Talon's pretty rough right now, but Fly is just insanely good. You hover over the battlefield, you can secure with it. Fly Talon is, yeah, amazing. It's amazing. Follow Me Clefable is mid. It's mid. It's better. Clefable has some buffs coming up, possibly with some new held items, but I think it's a mid move. Uh, Freeze Dry from Glaceon. Good. Set up with the right moveset, Fle Freeze Dry Glaceon is totally reasonable. Um, this is, I'm blanking on the name of it right now, it's Espeon's move, and it connects with Stored Power. Why, why am I forgetting the name of this move? How dumb am I? Future Sight, thank you, I'm so dumb. Future Sight's fine. It enables some resets. In general, it's a fine move. It's kind of good, kind of but it's also kind of whatever. I think it's B. I think B is a pretty fair category for it. Future Sight from Gardevoir, C tier, very good move. Really solid, really, really solid. Um, this is Giga Drain, yes? Yeah, this is Giga Drain, top tier move. Giga Drain's nuts. Either Venusaur build, you'd probably run Giga Drain on it. Giga Drain's just incredibly good. Healing, and it increases your defenses, just so good. So, so good. Gravity from Clefable, I think is probably C tier. It's almost B, but I think it's actually C. It depends on what the enemy team is. This actually goes to so, uh, so trolling if the enemy team is not, you know, uh, set up to sort of get disadvantaged by it. But in general, I think it's very solid. This is, I don't have power swap on here. I still have guard swap. I think it's probably C. It's almost D. Everything about Mime is good. Gosh, it's all... It got nerfed pretty hard. I'm gonna keep it C, but it's still really good. It got nerfed pretty dang hard though. Yeah, you think C? We got a lot of C's in the chat. Heavy Slam Snorlax is, I can't put it on the level of block, but it's it's a C tier move. Heavy Slam Snorlax is really, really, really good. Okay, Helping Hand Blissey is good. Mm, probably mid, I'd say it's B. It's not the best part of Blissey's kit. It's fun, but it's not the best part of Blissey's kit. I don't think so. Uh, Hex Gengar, very, very good. Great move. Hexes, yeah. 
really good. I don't think it's Dream Eater good, but it's it's really good. High horsepower, great move from Mammo Swine. Really solid move. Horn Leech, I think is D tier. Horn Leech uh, from Trevenant, it, it's a push. It gives you health. Uh, curse comboing with it, getting the resets is incredible. I think Horn Leech is a D tier move for sure. It's so good. Hurricane from Cram is B, I would say. It's fine. Casting mages just have trouble in Pokemon Unite in general because they kind of get caught and they're in a lot of trouble. I think it's a B tier move. It's not bad, but it's not great. Hydro Pump is probably C. It's, it's pretty good. Hydro Pump's pretty good. I mean, for what you need it to do, push enemies around, I think it's a solid move. Yeah, it's a solid move. And you get it off cooldown pretty fast, I think. I've got some people thinking maybe B in the chat. Hyper Beam, D tier move. One of the best moves in the game. Uh, Hyper Beam's incredible. Of course, you have to power it up with Dragon Dance, but a move that can secure objectives. Hyper Beam's just nuts. It's nuts. Hyper Voice, C tier, really, really good. Um, in general, Sylveon's just very good. Uh, all of its moves are very good. Hyper Voice is almost D, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it C. It doesn't feel broken or anything like that. Hyperspace Hole, good move. Send your allies back to base, heal them up. Really solid. Hyperspace Hole is solid. Ice Fang is almost a troll. Ice Fang is almost a troll. I love Ice Fang Mammo, and I, I gotta be honest, it's almost trolling when you pick Ice Fang Mammo. It is not, it's not that good. However, when you are bullying, it's like really fun. It's really, really fun, but I gotta be honest, it's, it's almost trolling. Ice Shard Glaceon, good. Uh, not much to say about it. Helps you out, gives you increased attack speed. Good move. Icicle Crash Mammo, really good. Really good. It's almost D. It's real. it has range, it steals. Honestly, I'm, uh, I don't think it fully gets in the D tier, but it's good. It's good. Well, hyperspace, so I see Pimsky says hyperspace has a 42% win rate. So here's the thing. There are moves that are so good but it doesn't mean that the Pokemon is that good. Like Fly is such a good move, but Talon's win rate is abysmal. But Fly is amazing. Uh, Icicle Spear and Ice uh, Icy Wind on Glaceon are both C tier. Honestly, maybe Icy Wind is even D tier. Yeah, it's kind of broken right now. I'm gonna put Icy Wind in D tier, Icicle Spear in C tier. It's still really good, even if it's not the move set anymore. Iron Head from uh, our buddy Aegislash. Unfortunately, this one is almost a troll. Iron Head's almost trolling. It's pretty rough compared to Wide Guard. And I know that when Wide Guard first came out, I was not a believer, but yeah, Wide Guard good. Uh, Iron Head is, it's almost S tier, honestly. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Dodrio's Jump Kick, really good. C tier. Almost D. It's not the thing about Dodrio that's amazing. It's really good though. Really, really good. Yeah. Ah, knockoff. Knockoff Sableye is full trolling. I think knockoff Sableye is absolute trolling in my opinion. Uh, ooh, some people think in jump kick D tier. I think knockoff Sableye is terrible. It's so terrible. You're getting rid of everything good about Sableye by playing knockoff Sableye, almost. Uh, what was this, Leaf Storm? Am I getting that right? I think it's such a bad move. I just think it's so bad. It, it, you have to compare it to your other move too. It's just so rough, uh, I think. Yeah, it's, um, oof. Really, really rough, really rough move. Um, this is Leaf Tornado from Eldegoss, which I think is pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's not amazing anymore, but it's a pretty good move. Not bad. Leech Life. Leech Life is... Leech Life is creeping up. Well, here's the thing. All right, I'm putting it A. But with a big caveat, okay? Leech Life is not the worst. But, but, the way the game has decided the way Leech Life works, you can just get it canceled so many ways and its range is abysmal. So I love the move, but the range is atrocious. And you can get it canceled by literally, your ally can cancel your leech life by, by using certain moves. Because of that kind of stuff, I have to put it up in the A tier. I really have to. 
But it's getting better because Buzzwool's getting a lot better. Um, I guess I had Barrier and Light Screen in here for some reason, right? Oh, this is, oh, this is Muse. This is Muse. Oh, Muse is really good. Muse is really good, actually. Muse Light Screen's really good. It might be D, honestly. Hmm. It, honestly, I think it's D tier. It's so good. Yeah. It's, like, incredible. Yeah, everyone's agreeing. It's such a good move. Yeah. Okay. Really good move. Liquidation, I think, is almost trolling. It's not full-on trolling, but it's almost trolling. You don't really have a choice. Um, it's almost trolling. It, it got a buff. It got, like, a couple buffs. Pre-buff, by the way, this is without question an S-tier bad move. But it, it's doing better. It's doing better. Lunge, good. Lunge buzzwool is good, for sure. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty ridiculous. I agree. Moonblast, Gardevoir. Good. Good move. Gives you a stun. Nothing wrong with it. Um, I kind of like Psychic better, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Moonlight from Clefable is probably the reason you would want to play Clefable. I think it could be a little better, to be fair, but I also think having an AoE heal is just very, very good. Clefable needs to be tankier, but I do think this move is very, very good. Uh, Mystical Fire Sylveon used to be pretty meh. I think it's better now. I think it's C. I think it's good. Uh, Night Slash, Zoroark is probably its best move, even though it was nerfed. I'd say Night Slash is probably the reason you're playing Zoroark. And because of that, I'd say it's a D tier move, right? But in general, Zorark's having problems outside of its moveset. This is Night Slash from Absol. I think Night Slash is good. I think Absol in general is kind of struggling a little bit. It's just in a weird spot. Speedsters get in weird spots in the game when things become really CC heavy and really tanky. They just get into a weird spot. But I think it's still fine. I think it's still a fine move. Outrage Dragonite is almost a troll. It's almost a troll. It's not extreme speed level trolling, but it's almost a troll. It It's almost an S tier level trolling move. It's I don't think it's fully S, because I think you can still do well with it. I will say, if you're playing Outrage Dragonite in my game, I know you're trolling. <laughs> but I think it's A, like high A, high A. Pain Split Trevenant, is that what I'm looking at right now? I mean... It's one of the worst moves in the entire game, in my opinion. It's so bad. Pain Split is so bad. It's 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 a definite contender for worst move in the game, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Pedal Dance. D. So good. Pedal Dance is so good. It's unbelievably good. Pedal Dance Venusaur is unbelievably good. This is uh, Phantom Force um, for Dragapult, which I think is a pretty good move. I don't think it's D tier. It doesn't feel broken to me, but I think it's really good. Um, Dragapult in general doesn't feel incredibly broken, but the move feels pretty dang good. Phantom Force for Hoopa is also good. It's good. It's other option. Eh, it feels like it's kind of B, but when played well, it's really good. Huh. Hoopa is just in a weird spot in the game in general. I don't think this move is bad though. I'm gonna. I guess I'm not super impressed. I'm, I'm putting it B. It's fine. Play it at a super high level. It's a good move. Hoopa is just whatever. Play rough. Ooh. Play rough. Play rough is one of the worst moves in the game. Play rough Azumarill is tragic. It's just so tragic. I guess the utility of it, it gives you um, the ability to kind of run around pretty fast. Because of that, I'm I could be I could I could hear an argument for it being A, but it's just so weak. It's so weak. Um, hmm. Water pulse is so much better. It's so much. Well, I had to get a nerf because it was so good. I think this move is essentially trolling. I, I think it's kind of trolling with it. All right. Uh, pollen puff is that? I think I'm looking at pollen puff right here. These are going in a weird order right now. Pollen Puff's really good. I think it's a good move. It's not like broken or anything, but I think it's really good. Really, really good. Uh, Power Up Punch Lucario is possibly D tier. 
Power Punch Lucario can... I mean, you can secure objectives with it. You get KOs with it. Lucario's two moves are just so good. It's either D or C. I'm gonna put it D. I think it's so good. Lucario just has two moves right here that are just beautiful. Beautiful moves. They're incredible. Uh, this is Psybeam Espeon. <clears throat> and I don't love it. Uh, yeah. And it's fine. It's fine. It feels fine. I'm not saying it's bad. It's like, it's fine. I, I don't hate the move or anything, but it's fine. Psychic Mime used to be broken. Now it's actually still good. If you put Psychic with uh, Barrier, you're, you know, it's terrible. Uh, but you've got still a really good move putting it with uh, Power Swap. It's still a good tank move, but it's not Confusion. This is Psychic Gardevoir. Very, very good. I think probably a C-tier move. Just really, really solid. Lots of damage right here. This is Psycho Cut from Absol, which I think is fine. It feels fine. That's not one of... It, it, it had that moment where it was really cool, but I think right now it's fine. It's not bad, but it's fine. Stored Power used to be trolling. Now I think it's actually pretty good. There's Stored Power from Espeon. Pretty good move. Psy Shock from Gardevoir. It might be its best move, but I don't know if anything in Gardevoir's kit screams like the best move. I just feel like it's all really good. I feel like it's all really good, like all C tier good. None of it feels like D tier broken. That's Psy Shock? Oh, that's Psy Shock from Espeon. My mistake. My mistake. That's Psy Shock from Espeon. Oh, it's the same category. <laughs> it's the same category. My mistake. It's Espeon, Psy Shock. Yeah. Good. That's exactly where I'd put it. Um, Pursuit Absol is fine. If enemies know how to play around it, it's not good. If enemies don't know how to play around it, it's good. It works well for a while. I'm going to put it B. It doesn't feel like you're full-on trolling with it, but it doesn't feel like a particularly great move. Pyro Ball. This is Cinderace's Pyro Ball. I have not spent enough time with it, but I have to put it up in almost a troll. And uh, here's the reason. Uh, by the way, it's one of my favorite ways to play Cinderace's Pyro Ball. It's almost a troll because it's not Blaze Kick. And Blaze Kick, the ability to move around the battlefield is too important. It's just too important. Um, it's so, yeah. Rapid Spin, D tier, incredible. One of the better moves in the game. We have two Leaf Storms right here. So I can put both of them up in the god tier now. Um, or two Razor Leafs, excuse me. I still think Razor Leaf is borderline almost trolling. I do. I really do. Um, it's not trolling, but man, it, it's, it's not good. Without a team around it. With a team around it, this is a very different move. But... I just think, unfortunately, this Pokemon, you do not want to be near enemies, and it puts you near enemies, and it's just kind of a freaking problem. It's kind of a problem. Um, Crustle's, uh, Crustle's Wall here. Why am I blanking on the name of Crustle's Wall? I'm blanking on so many. There's just so many moves inside the game. A move, Rock Tomb, duh. Crustle's Rock Tomb, I think, is actually pretty good. I think it's C tier good. I think Crustle has its own issues, but I think Rock Tomb is actually a really good move. Um, but in the wrong hands, I think this move is trolling. So in the wrong hands, you're gonna troll your team with it. In the right hands, I actually think it's pretty good. Two Razor Leafs somehow. We did it somehow. Rollout Wiggly is fine. <sighs> I think Rollout Wiggly is almost a troll. It's almost a troll, but it's actually not that bad. So there's the weird thing. It's almost a troll to pick Rollout Wiggly. It really is almost a troll. But uh, it's actually not the worst move ever. The reason it's almost a troll is because you're not picking uh, Sing. So I have to put it into the almost a troll category. Uh, this is Sacred Sword for Aegislash. Sacred Sword's really good. It's a really, really good move. Um, it's gotten nerfed a couple times. Maybe I could take it down a little bit, but it's really good. Safeguard Blissey is good, not great. It's fine. You think Safeguard is D? A lot of people think Safeguard is D with so much CC in the game. I think it's really good. I don't know if it's D tier, but a lot of people are saying D on Safeguard. I've actually been playing it a lot lately, and it has been really good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it 
Wow, everyone's saying D. You know what? I will give into the chat here. If you guys all think D, I'll go with you on this. Sand Tomb Titar is probably... I mean, just as a move itself, it's insane. What, ty what Tyranitar does is insane. It's crazy. I don't know what I'll say about it. Once Titar gets to level uh, 9, it's just insane. Right? It's just so good. Lots of purple, you're right. Lots of purple moves. Uh, this right here is Scald. Scald is good. Not great. Yeah. This is... There are so many Shadow Balls in the game. I don't know which one's which. Alright. <laughs> which Shadow Ball am I looking at? This is Gengar's Shadow Ball. Very good move. Low cooldown, lots of damage. Okay. This is Dragapult's Shadow Ball. I think it's fine. I'm not super impressed with Dragapult's Shadow Ball. It's like, it's okay. It's okay. This is Hoopa's Shadow Ball. I also think it's okay. Not super impressive, but I do think Gengar's is without question probably the best one on the list. It just does so much damage. So I like the others uh, to different degrees, but yeah, Hoopa C because it stuns. Even still, I don't love it that much. It's good. It's not great. <clears throat> it's okay. Shadow Claw from Aegislash is fun, but it just doesn't get the job done. It never gets the job done. Honestly, I have to put it into almost a troll. It's not that bad, but I have to kind of set it there. It's just, it's not good. It's, I wish it was better. Shadow Claw from Zorark is fine. I'm putting it in the B tier along with Cut. Um, I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I also don't think it's great. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else you do with it. It's, it's fine. Shadow Sneak is actually good, I think, on Decidueye. I think Shadow Sneak is good. Shadow, is the Shadow Claw stuns are D tier? I don't think so. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think Shadow Sneak is, like, really, really good. I know I have double, I have double Decidueyes in here on accident. We've got... This is Crustle's... Is this Crustle's Unite move, or is that Shell Smash? That's gotta be Shell Smash, I guess, huh? Shell Smash, pretty good. Pretty good move. Um... Crustal in general is kind of weird, but a move that gives you insane mobility is just really, really good. So I think it's a solid move, Sh Shell Smash, for sure. Sing is D tier, incredible, such a good move. Such a good move. Uh, we've got two versions of Sludge here. I don't know which one's which. Um, I believe this is Venusaur's Sludge Bomb, which I think is B. It's fine, it's not terrible, but it's fine. Uh, and then this is Gengar's, which by itself is not a, anything to write home about. It just works so well with its other moves. So I'll also put it into the B tier. Like, it's fine. They combo. So it, I think they're fine moves. I don't think they're horrible. And I also don't think they're amazing. Smackdown Buzzwool is... It's funner than it is good. But it's not bad. It's kind of C and it's kind of B. I'm going to go with my personal preference on this. I'm going to say it's... God, I like it so much, but I win with it less. I think I win with it less. Oh, this one's so close. I don't know. It's so good. I know the chat's divided on it too. I think I'm going to leave it C. I mean, just when you think about it, being able to knock an enemy away from battle is really good. It's pretty good. Smokescreen Greninja, good. Um, it's probably better than double team. I could move it down to S, uh, excuse me, down to C, but it's a dash. It makes the enemies so that they can't see for a second too, and it increases your strength. I'm, I'm gonna say that this is a C tier, yeah. So, uh, soft Boiled, Soft Boiled's a D tier move for sure. Uh, one of the best moves in the game. Soft Boiled Blissey's insane. I don't think there's, uh, I don't think there's anything else to say about it. Soft tier's nuts. Solar Beam from Mew is D tier. And Solar Beam from Venusaur is A tier or C tier. So the reason Muse is better than Venusaur's is because you get it at level one and you get to cast it more often. I think Venusaur's is still really good. It's not the preferred Venusaur build, but Solar Beam is still a really, really good move. It definitely is. Uh, Spark from Zeraora, really solid. Three dashes. Um, you can set up a lot with Spark. Really, really solid move, I think so. Spirit Shackle is one of the better moves in the entire game, I would say. Decidueye Spirit Shackle is insane. It's just crazy, crazy good. Stealth Rocks. I don't know which ones are which. I believe these are Duraludon Stealth Rocks, which I think are almost a troll. 
They're not terrible, but they're not mobility. And because of that, I think that Duraludon Stealth Rocks are A tier. They're almost S tier level trolling, but they're actually okay and they stun enemies. So uh, Stealth Rocks from Crustal is probably B in the current meta. Um, it does decent damage, but the issue is you don't really want to chip things that much and it just doesn't do its job that well as a harasser right now like running around the map and taking tons of farm and stuff like that super fun but i think probably b is a fair place to put it stone edge from uh titar is a tier for sure in in theory it's not the worst move ever right but you have to compare it with Dark Pulse, and because you compare it with a move that just does so much more, I would say it's A tier, for sure. I think so. This is Stored Power. Okay, so that's what I was doing earlier, was Psy Shock and Stored Power. So this is Stored Power, which I think is C. I think it's fine. Good move. It's actually a lot better than it used to be. A lot better. It's gonna be a long video, I know. Uh, this is Stuffed Cheeks Crustal. Pretty good. Stuff Cheeks Crustal is screedent. <laughs> we recording for a long time. Stuff Cheeks uh, Greedent is good. Stuff Cheeks Crustal, even better. Good move, gives you health, gives you some mobility. Submission Machamp is straight up trolling. Uh, it's so bad. I, it's so bad. I, I do not like Submission Machamp at all. I think it's horrible. So there we go. Uh, rough, rough move. It's like, Whenever you see this, it's rough. It's rough. I, people are going to disagree with me, and that's fine. I am telling you, Submission Machamp is, oof, so rough. I'm just curious. I'm just curious about its uh, win rate. I don't think it's terrible because Machamp's okay with its Unite move. But, oh yeah, no, its win rate's abysmal too. Yeah, it's horrible. Uh, there we go. It is bad. Uh, let's see. This is not Shadow Sneak. Sucker, this is Sucker Punch from Absol, which is good. Absol is just kind of B right now to me in general. Like everything about Absol is kind of whatever right now. It's not terrible. I don't know, I'm putting it B. I'm just not in love with it here. I'm just not in love with it. Yeah, you must be going through a really tough time if you're playing Submission. I think so. You think Sucker Punch is C, huh? I could, I could hear the argument if a lot of people think it's C. I could hear it. Chris Heroes is really good with it. Oh, we're talking about submission still? Chris Heroes is very good at Pokemon Unite. And he's playing a troll build. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. That's a troll build. Uh, Lunge Buzzwool is... Oh, no, this is Super... Uh, this is Superpower Buzzwool. I think is amazing. I think Superpower Buzzwool is amazing. It's just uh, insane. And its resets at level 11 are crazy. It's crazy. I like this move is unbelievably good. It's so freaking good. Look at how big Buzz is over here. Taking advantage of that, it's so good. This is, we have like eight versions of Surf. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can figure out each version of Surf. This is Cramorant Surf, which is B tier, I would say. I think Cramorant's mage set in general, mage sets in general are B. This is Greninja Surf, I think is D tier. Greninja Surf is unbelievable. So I would say that is D tier for sure. This is Slowbro Surf, which is also extremely good, but it's not, it doesn't have secure like Greninja's. I think it's extremely good. I would put this in the C tier, really, really good. Uh, this is Muse Surf that I think used to be kind of broken, but now is still pretty dang solid. I'm going to put that in the C tier as well. And then we have Blastoise's Surf, which is not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. That is also heading into the C tier. And those are the Surfs. Ooh, a lot of people think Blastoise might be a C or D and Muse Surf D. Really? You think Muse Surf is still D, huh? Okay. I don't know, I think it's really good. I think they nerfed it decently though. I don't know, Mew is just kind of crazy the way it resets things. Surging Strikes on Urshifu is up here with Liquidation. Um, it's not, he, Surging Strikes itself is not terrible, but Water Bear is rough. Water Bear is just so much worse than Single Strike that I, I have to put it up here. Um, Liquid is better than, uh, Surge, you think? I don't know. I think the I think both of these have some 
options here, but it still needs a buff, in my opinion. It's kind of like you're trolling, kind of. Swords Dance on Scissor and Scyther is good. I'm going to put it here into the C tier. Good dash. Um, telekinesis on Slowbro. I hate to say it, but it's almost trolling. It's almost trolling. Um, it, it's like, ugh. It's, it's not amazing. It's really not. I wish it was better. It's not full-on trolling, in my opinion, but I swear it's almost. It's getting there. It's, it's not that good. It's really not that good. It's a move to troll. That's true. This is Throat Chop uh, from Urshifu. Good move. Dash gives you a boosted. I really like Throat Chop. Really, really solid move. Yeah. This is Thunder and Thunderbolt from Pikachu. There's really nothing wrong with either of these moves. Um, it probably doesn't have the same utility as its other move set. So I don't, I, I'd say they're both good, but they kind of remind me of a caster like Cram. I'm just going to put them both B. They're not terrible, but you're just not blown away by either of them. So, I, I like them both. You think Thunder maybe is a little bit better? You think D tier for Thunder, huh? I can't... There's no way it's D tier. That's for sure. It does do pretty good damage, but there's no way it's D tier, I wouldn't say. Let's see. Try Attack from Dodrio is probably D. It's kind of insane the way it combos with things on Dodrio, but it has been nerfed. It has been nerfed. Hmm. Hmm. It's really good. Try attack might be D tier. It still might be C. Overall, it was D. It's got multiple nerfs. I'm gonna put it high C, and that's that might actually just be wrong. You know? Um, you think low D or high C? Yeah, I'm kind of going either way on it. It's really good, but it did get some pretty size. It's like consistently gotten sizable nerfs. Maybe I'll keep it D. It's still really good. Trick Hoopa is fine. I think it's fine. Really specific. Not terrible. It's fine. Hoopa's fine. Bad. Fine. Good. Fine. You think C? Hmm. I think I could see C a little bit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. C combined with certain Pokemon. All right. I'll put it C. I can't... I, I'm not... I'm not crazy about it either way. It's good. It's the version I play, but I don't think it's amazing. Volt Switch on Zera Aura is good. It's a dash and you can dash back. Can't really argue with it. Good move. Volt Tackle on Pikachu is insane. Volt Tackle on Pikachu is crazy. It's crazy, 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 crazy good. Uh, Water Pulse is... It was probably D tier and now it's probably C, but when you get Water Pulse Plus, it's D tier, baby. Water Bowls Plus is so dang good. It makes me mad. Um, but it did get nerfed. I'm going to put it D tier still. I love it. I love that move. Uh, this is Water Shuriken Greninja. It's not Surf, so it's a problem. In that sense, it's almost a troll. But it's actually not a bad move. It's really not. So I have to put this move C, even though I think comparing it to Surf is like... So rough. A lot of people are thinking maybe A, huh? I just think here the problem with it is you think B at best. Yeah, it's not a bad move. It's just not the move. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. I'll I'll move it to B. I can't say it's almost trolling because you can actually do some pretty good stuff with it, but it's not surf. You're right. Water spout by itself is bad. <laughs> Ish. Right? But Paired with Rapid Spin, it's very, very good. I'm just going to put it C because you don't play it otherwise. So, yeah. It is trolling to go against Surfed. Yeah, I I, I, I can't really argue with you there. Uh, Wicked Blow. Oh, Whirlpool. Whirlpool's fine. It's not bad. It's actually kind of good. Yeah, it's kind of good. It's good. It's not bad. I think uh, Aqua Tail is better right now, but it's actually pretty good. It, it does good damage and it heals you. It's actually a solid move. Uh, Wicked Blow, one of the best moves in the game. Uh, insanely broken. Uh, let's see. Wide Guard is C. Aegislash, Aegislash is another one of those Pokemon um, that just kind of... Every part of its kit combos together and Wide Guard is just part of it. You know, um, it's just like Sacred Sword's all part of it. Uh, I could, 
I could see the argument for wide guard being D in some respects. Uh, wide guard's D for you, you think? I could see the argument for it. It's really good. Um, yeah, they nerfed AG because they've they've nerfed AG slash a couple times because it just works so good as an overall kit. Um, I'll 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 move it D. I'll move it D. If we got some people thinking it's D. That's fair. Uh, Wild charge is B. Wild charge from zero. Yeah. It's C, maybe. It's kind of C. It gets canceled in weird ways. When it's carrying, it's so good. And when it's not carrying and it's and you're me and it's like messing up, it's like weird. It's weird. It's a weird move. It's kind of C and it's kind of B. Yeah, it, it gives you invincibility too. Yeah, it does depend on the opponent. I'm gonna put it C. It's actually a good carry move. Zara is just kind of weird, but the move itself, like setting up a good wild charge, it it deletes people. It's a good deleting. It just Zara Aura is in a weird spot. It's not wild charge. It's Zara Aura. Uh, Woodhammer Trev is good. I, I'm gonna put it B. It's just not curse. Curse is it just curse gives you resets. So I actually really like Woodhammer, but curse gives you resets, and it's hard to argue with resets. Yawn is uh, trolling. It's such a bad move. It's like one of it's one of the it's up there for one of the worst moves in the game. We'll have a debate, but um, yawn is one of the worst moves in the entire game for sure. X is crustal, good move. Actually, really good move. Probably the in some ways is the best move in its kit. Um, you can combo it with shell smash or rock tomb. It gives good stuns against walls. It pushes enemies. When you crit, you can crit for like a billion damage. It's actually really good. So we got through every move. In Pokemon Unite, I believe there's possibly a Pokemon I missed, and uh, I'm so sorry to whoever that Pokemon is. I'm so, so sorry, but this was a hard list to put together, and now it's time for the God Tier. I want to hear everyone's thoughts. I, for me, God Tier is between Extreme Speed, Pain Split, Yawn, and Knock Off. These are my god tier choices. These are where I'm at, kind of. Zarina. We don't have Zarina on here. I miss the queen. Well, there's nothing on Zarina, Zarina's kit that's bad. In fact, the whole kit's good. We did miss Zarina. So sorry, Zarina. Everything on you is good. Some of it may be even D. But I we have missed Zarina. Sad. It's either all C or even some of it D. <sighs> the chat's voting pain split. It's voting pain split right now. Pain, pain, pain. Lots of pain split. Pain split, you better go AFK. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't put knockoff or yawn there? I don't know. I think knockoff and yawn are both fully trolling. I think they're fully trolling. I wonder. This does not make the decision, but I wonder what the win rates are. I'm just curious. Sableye with knockoff is... Not the worst. It's it's a 49% win rate. And that's mainly because Sableye can still turn invisible. So it's still kind of broken. Snorlax. And again, this will not be the deciding factor. Snorlax with Yawn is a 47% win rate. It's really low. Flail Yawn. Really, really low. I'm going to remove Knock Off. And I'm going to remove... I can't remove Yawn. I can't remove Yawn. Ah. 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 Yawn is look, Yawn is so bad. Don't don't ever. Don't ever play Yawn. Hold on. Pain split or e extreme speed. Which is going to be my god tier? trolling move which oh okay okay here's how i'm gonna make my decision and i want you to think of it this way too chat i want you to think of it this way uh yeah i just throw a submission up there done okay which would you rather have on your team extreme speed dragonite or pain split trevenant that's my that's my question to you which would you rather have on your team extreme speed dragonite or pain split Trevenant. <laughs> Ew. Wow. Okay, we've got E speed, E speed, E speed. Really? E speed Dragonite? Oh no. Oh no. I think I'd rather have pain split. 
Wow. You know what? I think we're freaking Norse around here. I think we're freaking Norse around here because I have to agree. Honestly, seeing either on my team makes my heart explode with pain. It gives me, and I can't believe this, it gives me a heart attack. It gives me a heart attack when I see it. I almost die. I almost die when I see it. Pain split is worthless. <laughs> this has been the funnest tier list. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it, honestly. I'm gonna leave us Norse for this tier list. I They're both so bad. So incredibly bad. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. As always, if, it, if something I've put on this tier list, if you're doing really well with it and you're helping your team, you know, disregard anything I have to say uh, and just do what is actually working for you. But notice what is actually working because I think a lot of the moves up near the top here are not actually working for you. I just think, you know, I, I think a lot of these feel fun, but are bad. That is my thought here. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't even know what I could mix around here at the end. Like, how could I even mix this? All right, we'll do one. Oh, for old time's sake. And that's why, without question, wide guard is the worst move in the game. I said it when wide guard came out. I said wide guard bad, and I have never changed my thoughts on this. Wide guard is bad. Age of Slash is bad because of it. Stop playing Age of Slash and start getting into games with things like E Speed Dragonite or Pain Split Trevenant. Like, pick something that's actually going to help the team because wide guard is just, it's just terrible. All right. I love you all. Thank you, YouTube members, for being here with me for a very long tier list. Goodbye, everybody. Mm -hmm.